to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me what well, my people? Hope everybody in okay. Hope everybody in alright. So I have a word for somebody right now. The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, unless you forgive the situation, unless you realize that the situation is over, you cannot move forward. People, make sure not hear me have to say no. I'm gonna tell you something. Remember today is Friday. So not be watch the pick back them on the road cause them out in them numbers. You understand when they got the bank. Watch all the bank tell her to cause some of them not real. They must set up people for come rob on us when they take him on your walk out the door. But hold on, I can start the news right the man. The St. James police are probing the death of two men whose body were discovered following a house fire in Enden, Norwood on Friday morning. The deceased has been identified only by their alias, Moki and Shane. The man them fix Moki and Shane business. You are one power, you are one no people. It is believed that the men were killed and then the house was set ablaze according to police at the scene. It was reported that fire was seen coming from the premises sometime after 1 a.m. but the police were not alerted until shortly after 8. The fire department had also summoned and upon the arrival at the scene, firefighters carried out cooling operation. Yes, people, them cool down the place, you understand? The body of the two men were found during the search of the rebels. Anyway, more things are going on in the news. Right up a man was ill. Me tell about that illness. People just always lose them pints from that the ill. Anyway, let me tell the people them one power one go on. At least three people were killed and several others injured in a two-vehicle crash along the Melrose Hill bypass in Manchester this morning. Big some video available for all who want to see it. According to an eyewitness, a taxi was traveling along the roadway when a van reported it broke the one way and collided with a car. Several persons in both vehicles sustained injury. The crash has caused a big pile up on that the road that don't know seven anything going on right there, so and that one power go on. One show ten go on past South Camp Road. One two man pan bike, run down one man and beat some holy for shot off him. But him down then. I want to make sure things go on to people. Get switch power. A man was shot and injured by Mars gunman along Fitzgerald Avenue off Maxfield Avenue this morning. He is now hospitalized. Nursing gunshot injury. And the police them gone when they gone and find out who fired the shot. I soon come back and go to some more news. But I can tell you this right now. Once a man do the business, Jamaican is a part of it. If you don't believe me, you are going to walk one. Six people who were part of a suspected human smuggling operation were transported to Bahamas Tuesday after a rescue in waters of Palm Beach County. Immigrants from Bahamas, China, Cuba, and guess where people? Jamaica. Yes, Jamaica have to be involved in everything. Were caught by the US Coast Guard on Sunday about 12 miles from Lake Worth Outlet in Florida. Two of them were taken into custody by Homeland Security for further questioning. The U.S. Coast Guard said all migrants receive food, water, shelter, and basic medical attention. No injuries are reported. Hear what? That's what the Jamaican they have over there. Don't send them back. Me tell you the truth. We don't want them back. Yesterday morning, I come and tell you, say, anytime sleep, wake up and attack. Him not going to stop talk. Feed more set pan spring. Chang proposed law change to secure better legal representation for the police. So all who feel like so the police are going to find them own now, or they make a sad mistake. Loan snapper business are going to go on. Sleepy set rules will be changed to allow members of the constabulary force to better access legal representation when brought before the court for carrying out their lawful duties. Once they do them lawful duties, snap all well, those criminal them, 
they will be getting better access to legal representation. People and I make me make up my story and I me say so. I mean, know the police them are listening, you know, so they have authority you know, for going to stand up where people can chance me. You might go see to it. Say, only get better representation. You are going for a good. For the police force, though, it was established that we sh cannot defend the police in court. And in providing even private laws and a private bar, the rules stated that the policeman should pay the bill, go to court, and unless he wins, and if he wins, he'll refund at the end of the day. It's an unfair system, Madam Speaker, and I want to assure the officers we are going to change it. Currently, we operate with a cabinet decision that allows to assist in paying the fees, and the Prime Secretary will establish a structure to ensure that policemen who are charged for any incident while doing the work of protecting the country can get legal representation. But the rules must be changed because it cannot be paid in any ad hoc manner. When we arrest a gang leader, or a gang for murder, whatever is involved, the taxpayer, by and large, pays millions of dollars to provide that particular gangster killer with legal services. The cost now to do the Klansman gang, which people have become sensitive to gang and the activity leaders, who intelligence will tell you they have huge resources, but when they go to court, <laughs> they don't have any. And by law, we provide Queen's Council, Senior Council, Junior Council, the person, right? Huge amount of money. And I've invited the Acts of Commission of Police to begin to review that book of rules, which was last done in 1985. Started in 1979 and went to open those and articulated then. I want to assure the men and women in the police force, I'll ensure that's changed quickly. We'll be looking at the Police Council Force Act but we need to change the book of rules before because it's obviously unjust and unfair for the system to operate in that manner. They should get the best representation that is available in the country as they carry their, their very difficult task of protecting this country from marauding gunmen. People, the same thing we're not telling a friend about the same thing I tell people to, you know. Chang finally wake up and start talking with some sense. You understand? The police, them happy. Hold on and wait until they hear this apart to me Chang said no I tell you know he mouth said man spring once him start talk Public should expect an increase in police fatal shooting Into the police them are gone with us Lap web white left right and center We not have to worry about them are going around and eat taxpayers dollars no more No 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 This is what Chang have to say As government we can only provide them with the appropriate tools which we are doing we are expanding it and when we do so at the stage we are at, Madam Speaker, we're going to have more fatal shootings. In fact, it's inevitable because the police intelligence is getting better. We are moving aggressively to complete our suite of communication um, equipment for them. And that's, I don't mean necessarily equipment to listen in terms of but the microwave system, we're giving them more motor vehicles. Therefore, we, we, when we hear threat for life, we save criminals. But they also pick up intelligence that will allow them to intercept more of the criminal gangs going to kill each other. And when that happens, we're going to have engaging, police engaging them. To me, it's somewhat, it's, it's annoying. I find it objectionable that in those contexts, the image is still going that we have policemen who are out there seeking just to, to kill. They're out there to protect and they are faced with gunmen. They have to respond. And they are trained to respond and I expect an engagement. The police should win. We lost two last week. I expect at all times the policemen who are trained, and that's why I say train them well. They are trained effectively that when they engage in combat with criminals, they must win. And I have no apologies for that. I, ex I want them to win. I expect them to win. And we train them and provide the equipment to do so.